Don't forget twitch.tv slash Hellsparks. Don't forget to subscribe. And of course, wherever your favorite way of watching the show is, click the like and the subscribe. And if you're on Facebook, use the little face emoji things. Apparently, that makes things way more popular. That's how it's programmed. Apparently, Facebook is like, ah, these words, these biggie wordy words. Um, It's better if you just have a big crying face or something. What in the heck? Calm yourself. No diatribes in the chat room. Mind yourself. I do have whale fans. It's true. I'm looking for a Twitch whale. That'd be nice. You know, one of these people who comes through and buys like six trillion uh, spots. What do you? What? What is that? Wait, William. No. All right. Um, so here we go. Let's uh, let's get this started. I am. It is true. I am multi talented. Let's let's use some of those multi talents today. Um, I have there's some long ones today some, because some of the clips are long. So let's start with a short one, uh, which I don't think any of us could stand a long version of this. Um, this is uh, Boris Epstein. Uh, it's, uh, it's pronounced Frankenstein, and uh, that's that's not him, is it? No. That's Cort, Cort, whatever. Anyways, that's Steve Bannon. We know that. And then he's got one of these dickheads on. And they're, what they seem to be as upset I about. Want to go to Boris. Hold on. We he, he does want to go to Boris. The cowardice of the House GOP with Boris Epstein. So I don't know what they're cowarding about. I'm, uh, I mean, I, I don't disagree that they're cowards. I think I would say that it's more their cowardice is more in line with the fact that they won't push back against Trump, even though he doesn't really have a control over the party unless they say he does and they're too scared to do it and yada yada. Uh, yes, I know. And I I don't have any popcorn because I just we just ordered lunch and it came late and for Ethan and me. And uh, and it's I had two bites and then I came back and sat down with you guys. Real quickly, Boris, about. Yeah, real quick. You know, Chip what? Roy. I mean about chip roy's we talk about the top we talk about authenticity fight and uh -huh. the ability to take political pain this country has so yeah it's totally true i mean basically he's like he's like uh tyt in, in 30 years i don't know They're, everybody's aging quick. so many tough decisions in front of them right mm -hmm. about the budget about ad control spending about systemic <laughs> inflation all of it uh, Everything. This, this was about the easiest call you could possibly have to vote. Easiest. No and again, I think that what they're talking about is voting against the extra money for Ukraine. On this bill. Easiest. Walk us through. And I don't know why that would be the easiest. Because supporting Ukraine is incredibly popular across the country. The cowardice of cowardice. the House, the Republican House of Representatives. Forget the Democrats. They're, 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 they're destroying the country. Well, no, it, Russia is destroying the country. If we're just still talking about the same country. The Republicans, I think 157 of them, 158, voted yes on this thing with no debate, not even reviewing the bill. Uh, well, obviously, it w went through committee, and they're aware of what's in it without even reviewing the bill. What are you going to do? You want them to stand up and say, and each of them go on record for you as to why we shouldn't support Ukraine against Russia? Get fucked. Uh, Boris Epstein. It's disgusting. It is unacceptable. It's weird that a guy like Boris would think that. I mean, a guy named Boris would, would come to that conclusion. You know what I mean? With the name Boris, you'd think he'd be... Uh, no? It is pathetic. I don't have... Uh, to be honest with you, I, I, I don't have enough words. Well, it's not, the, it's not the volume. It's not the quantity. It's the quality of words. It's, I mean... To really describe how disappointed I am. Uh, think about your penis and work backwards. In every single member of the Republican Party in the House who voted for this canard. And why? Because of because Jill Biden went to Ukraine on Mother's Day? Yeah, that's why they did it. Because Nancy Pelosi blasphemed and, and, and invoked the name of God on the House floor? Mm, from a branding standpoint, that might have had some effect. We as Republicans have been talking for 10 years now. 10 years. Who, what do you mean, we? Years. Oh, Nancy Pelosi didn't let anybody read Obamacare. And now we, we are voting for... And it's weird. She didn't let anybody read Obamacare, and yet I fucking read it? Hmm. How did I read it? And Another bill where nobody was allowed to read it? 
uh, nobody's stopping you from fucking reading it. And here's the thing. If, if you're too busy to read it, have somebody in your fucking staff read it and redline it for you because you do have, it's been a fucking week, you lazy sons of bitches. What's the point? If I'm a voter at home and I'm looking at these Republicans. Yes, please. Oh, this is starting to get good. Wait, 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 wait. Smell that? Yeah. That's the smell of a man setting fire to his own boat. Who are, who, who are running in the districts and saying, no, we have to go against Nancy Pelosi. We've got to fight. We've got to be able to read the bills. And then I look at this vote. What's the point? And here's the deal, Steve. Yeah, why, why vote, Republicans? Just fuck it. I mean, this is gross. Never vote again, Republicans, says Boris Epstein. 100 seats for 100 years, yes, but it's got to be our 100 seats for 100 years. He means the Senate, by the way. No more of this melamouth nonsense. Yeah, these melamouth nonsense. You think we got problems with fucking mansion and cinema? MAGA smart. The war room posse is smart. I mean, I I suppose I could we could try and take your word for it, but I basically I've been doing that for a long time, and still I got I'm not seeing anything. President Trump as the leader of the MAGA movement absolutely gets it. Well, oh, what do you mean by it? Syphilis? You can't just slow tap us and talk to us and think you're gonna do whatever you want anyway. Give away forty billion dollars. To Ukraine? Yes. In, in in humanitarian aid and in material support, much of which they're going to pay back. Now, if you're rooting for the other side, I can understand how you would be pissed. For what? And by the way, who knows if it'll even get to Ukraine? Uh, well, I, I, would, I would think that as members of Congress who have oversight, they would participate in the process to make sure it got spent there. Maybe get some oligarchs and, and, and you know, and Zur By the way, this is the same talking point we've heard uh, from Jimmy Dore. And this is the same talking point we hear from Russell Brand. It's weird, the overlap, don't you think? Like, well, maybe some will go to some other woke nonsense from the State it, Department. It, 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 yes, that's right. They're going to, the, <laughs> the State Department is running out of woke dollars. <laughs> So that they're going to have to skim some from aid to Ukraine on the side. I'm sorry, uh, you're, you're confusing Democrats with Republicans again. See, Democrats do re periodic reviews uh, to make sure that the money was spent where it was supposed to be spent. It's Republicans that spend it and throw it away and don't look back and hope that no one catches their buddies uh, stuffing their pockets. For, for, first of all, people... We've already just put take, 16... Just 10 more seconds on this. Yeah, go, go ahead. Sure, go ahead. 40 billion... Could you imagine what $40 billion could do to inner Baltimore? What uh, well, it, I mean, the, there would have to be, obviously, some sort of bond issued to inner, inner Baltimore. Also, is the federal government now in the city-building enterprise? Because these fuckers get real communist real fast. And and by the way, if Joe Biden came out and said, we want $40 billion to rebuild Baltimore, fuck off. Please tell me these assholes would go, well, finally, we're spending it on America. They'd go, this is a boondoggle spending for inner cities that can't get their Democratic mayors in these violent cities, and he wants to pour $40 billion down the throat of, of Baltimore. Get out of here. What $40 billion could do to, 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 to D.C. right here a mile away? Uh, well, I mean, a mile away from where you are? what $40 billion could do, it could get voted on and sent to Ukraine to protect democracy and, and create a barrier for Europe from more Russian expansion, dum-dum. Could you imagine what $40 billion could do at the border of the United States of America, the country we live in, not some country halfway around the world? We're not short of funds on the border. It's not, we're not, it's not that we can't, hire enough people or whatever. It's just that there's a reality of a certain... What what, what we would do is... Can you imagine what $40 billion would, would do if it was spent at the Department of Homeland Security to...
to root out who in the United States and in other countries, obviously, but in, within the United States, is setting up messaging um, in Latin American countries to create these caravans in the first place. If they traced back who was trying to get people to the border for a political stunt, where would they end up? Would $40 billion be enough to dis I'm guessing. It is unacceptable. It is despicable. And we will not forget. We will not forget. Yeah, don't forget. Don't forget. Yeah, I think you should definitely, uh, I mean, think, say what you will about the $40 billion, but uh, the Democrats tell you where it's going and it's going there. These guys supposedly told you something else and then they, you know, at least uh, you're not, you know, you're not, you wouldn't be voting for a hypocrite. Who pushed this vote on the Republican side and who voted for it. Yeah, so angry. It is unacceptable. Why is it unacceptable? What the fuck are you talking about? It's basically because this is the route money. This is the money that will drive Russia back into its own country. This is why this $40 billion that just got passed is why Ukraine just passed a, a, a like a, a resolution about their goals for the war and gone are they can still keep Donbass they can uh, Donbass they can still keep Crimea now the new goals for Ukraine is Russians out entirely fuck off back to your own borders we're taking Crimea back we're taking Donbass back we're taking the uh, Donetsk and Luhansk areas they're ours they were ours to start with fuck you get out that's what this 40 billion dollars did that specifically what shifted that messaging because with that money they can absolutely do it and that's why he's pissed that's why bannon is pissed because like uh, there's an argument that even the 13 billion dollars because half of it was humanitarian aid and then a trickle of 3 billion here and 3 billion here could would draw this thing out and and trickle away at you know eventually you would just eat up the country with fewer people in it without without bigger resources because it would be a drip drip it wouldn't be enough for Ukraine to gain ground this 40 billion is going to allow them to gain ground and drive the russians out entirely especially with the help of the other uh european countries that are supporting them as well on top of that that's what they're pissed about that's what this anger is all about it is not MAGA. Boris, this is the kind of, we need fight. I mean, 57, think about it for a second. Everything the MAGA movement has done, everything the people in this audience have. Is it MAGA or MAGA? Mm -hmm. Done and not even have. What have they done? Oh yeah, they took a shit in the rotunda and beat a cop with a, with a Blue Lives Matter flag. What else have they done? Uh, corporate uh, tax cut, right. The personal one expired, but the one for corporations, that was permanent. What else has MAGA done besides, uh, I guess, elevating sexual uh, predation to a uh, a character trait necessary for high office within the Republican Party? MAGA. Oh, yeah. They also gather in fields because Trump won't pay his security bills. Have the respect. They don't have the respect. No, nah, they don't. The Republican leadership does not respect you. Mm, yeah. And I, I don't know why that would be. I, I it. Certainly can't be your hygiene. <laughs> Not to sit there and go, hey, if we're going to do this, it's going to take two or three days. Get the bill. Let's go through it. Maybe even have a hearing. Maybe even ask some. Slow walk it. You know, they, they could still have the vote on it. But maybe if they could uh, tap the brakes on it, because that might give, you know, in wartime, uh, you know, days don't really matter. I mean, it's who gives a shit if it's weeks or whatever. Just, you know, if the all, all, all my friends in. Russia are telling me is that they just need a couple more days to get their shit together and they'll really, it's going to be fantastic. Some questions, maybe do some due diligence. Here this right. shows you the corruptness of the, the corruptness of the system and the cowardice. Oh, they turned off his mic so that Steve could get his point out. If what he thought was a point when he started talking. Of leadership, Boris. You, you know, as they, we used to say on my football team, it's SOS, same old, and you could fill in the blank on the last one. I don't want to get. Yeah, it's a, it's such a football-y kind of term. That you find again. That you mean same old situation? It's a Motley Crue song. That's what this is. It's the same old nonsense. 
yeah, I don't even know why you vote for Republicans. I would, I would form a third party. I don't know, maybe jumpstart the Whigs. The same old crap. It is unacceptable. And it's I'm enjoying hearing him say that. So refreshing to see the people like Bo Hines, uh, you know, people like uh, uh, Commander Greitens, who, who's fully against this crazy spending overseas. Blake Masters, Kyle LeBrew in Missouri. We now, we, we. Yes, you can literally name these dipshits on one hand. You can count them on one hand. We have fighters coming up in the MAGA movement. And if people don't want to fight who are there now, well, move on. Move on. Because this isn't. Well, apparently they do want to fight. They just want to fight Russia in Ukraine. Or help Ukraine fight Russia, depending on how they look at it. They are enjoying fighting Vladimir Putin because they think he's a monster and. And they think there are war crimes going on. The Ukrainians didn't deserve this. And this would give him uh, outsized control over oil and gas in the region and give him even more he uh, hegemonic control over European, uh, the, the vast areas of Europe. And, and then he's going to move into Moldova. And then because of his alliance with Belarus, they're going to go into Lithuania and Latvia. They're going to try and box in Finland. He's going to take more of Georgia and Chechnya. So uh, it's which would be a trillion dollar problem, a multi trillion dollar problem over years, not to mention the human lives lost. You know, and didn't you guys used to be pro life or something? Just to think that in a moment when Democrats. Why start now? Democrats are, think about this politically, fine. You know, this is so blatantly wrong on policy, but if you think about this politically, the Democrats are in the toilet in terms of their approval ratings. No. Okay? The Democrats are dead. Look at all the look at all the ballot polling, everything. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, just coast. They're screwed. I don't even know. Not only do you not have to vote this fall because your Republicans are unprincipled hacks, of course. Uh, but also, I mean, do you even read, really need to? They got. I mean, like, votes coming out of their ears. Uh, you know. So why in the world would you follow the lead of Joe Biden and Nancy Pelosi on this bill? Yeah, it couldn't possibly be that it. it it, you have one principled bone left in your body and it, it still works. I mean, are the Republicans in Congress this divorced, this detached from their constituents back home? No, you are. <laughs> no, the, the war room is. They think that's... Who's going to like this? <laughs> Who, oh, just, Listen, just answer. The, yeah, I, and I'm, yeah, saying, yes, yeah. I'm willing to get... He's very upset. An answer. Yeah. Maybe we should even put somebody on the show who voted for the bill. Because no, here's no, what I want to hear, Steve. I want to hear who yeah. at home, who voting yeah. likes this. Uh, well, it, there's 156 of these fuckers. Uh, not one of them would, uh, would, would return your phone call. This video has, and it's fresh, it's brand new. 490 views, 151 rumbles. You know, it's not one to one. It's not doing too bad, I think. But they, you know, these are people who have paid to push it to the top of the line. 151 people just said more people need to see this, and uh, 350 or so were like, Meh. um. <laughs> but yeah, so that's uh, they are in a screaming fit about this funding for Ukraine passing. And I find that uh, glorious. Yeah, that's a beautiful thing. The fact that these assholes' teeth are grinding about funding for Ukraine passing, when their dude, when he got him in there, was there, his whole purpose was to hamstring aid to Ukraine. Ugh. Let's see, when is Bannon's liver going to melt? I, I don't know. I think it's going to just revolt. I, th I think that might be Bannon's liver wearing headphones. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, make America great again. We're, we're trying. We're trying. You know, it's going to take brooming these idiots. Um, but we'll, we're working at it. Anyways, uh, by the way, you're watching House Parks Mega Worldwide. Good for you. Good on you. I think that's great.